All right, what is going on, everyone? My name is Hanson, and welcome back to a brand new Discord bot tutorial. So, I just want to mention something real quick. Uh, every tutorial that we make, uh, where we're implementing a new feature with our Discord bot, if it makes sense, we will also implement a feature on the on the dashboard side of things uh, to connect it with our Discord bot. So, for example, in this little mini series, we're going to work on guild analytics. So, whenever a user is kicked, banned, or muted or something happens to the user on the Discord guild, we're going to go ahead and show, we're going to basically collect all of those, all of those actions into, uh, into a statistics. So that way we can show it to the user. So that way on the dashboard, if you log in and you want to view, uh, your guild statistics, also known as guild analytics, you can see, you know, how many users are being kicked, how many users are joining the guild, how many users are being banned, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So basically the idea is whenever a user is banned, kicked or muted or something happens to the user, we want to keep track of that. Okay, we'll start off with just banning users first. So what we want to do is whenever a user is banned, we want to save a record to the database. So that way the user will actually, that way we'll actually keep track of who's being banned, who is banning that user, what's the reason that they were banned for. And then we can, uh, and then on the front end, when we implement it on the dashboard, um, we can fetch all of the guild bans and then we can somehow kind of like put put together a bunch of statistics and put it into a chart so that way the dashboard administrators can see okay well this is how many users are uh are this, this is how many users are actually being banned from our server uh and if they want to and additionally we'll if we have time we'll make it so that they can also unban the user from the dashboard as well okay so let's go ahead and get started uh what we're going to do in this right now we're in our discord bot project Okay, so we're not in the dashboard, we're not in the React app, we're not in the Nest.js app, we're in the bot application. Okay, um, if you have not seen the previous tutorials uh, where we set the bot, uh, that's totally fine. Um, you can go ahead and get the code from the GitHub repository, you can clone it, and you can follow along the tutorial. I do encourage you to follow along with the series just so you don't, just so that way you're not super confused with what's going on. But that's up to you. Okay. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go inside the type ORM folder. We're going to go inside entities and we're going to go ahead and create a new uh, entity. And I'm going to call this uh, guild and .ts. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new type ORM entity. So this entity is just going to represent a guild ban. And we're going to have to use the entity decorator to annotate this as an actual type ORM entity. And then we're going to go ahead and you don't have to do this, but I will do this myself. I'm just going to make sure that the actual SQL table shows up as guild underscore bands, just because I prefer um, snake case for my SQL tables and the columns as well. So now we need to define all of the properties for our entity. And that's how, and type arm is going to basically take all these properties and map it over to map it over in a MySQL table as an actual column in the table. So uh, the first uh, column that we'll need is the primary key. So we're gonna use the primary generator column and I'm just gonna label this field as an ID. So this is just gonna be our primary key. It's just going to be a numeric value that will auto increment every single time we, uh, every single time a new record is created. Next, we'll have a regular column and this regular column is just going to be the guild ID. That way, when we search the database, we can filter out the guild bands based off of the guild ID. So you need to make sure you do have this. Otherwise, you're not going to know which uh, which guild band record uh, is part of which guild. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and just pass in the options. I'm going to pass the name. I'm going to, for every single column, I'm just going to make it snake case. So guild underscore ID. So this is how the column name will look like in the actual database table. But when we reference the property in our code base, we will reference it as guild ID, like this right over here. The next column that we'll need is, uh, let's see. So we'll also need to know who is being banned. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, give this field name. I'm going to call this, uh, let's see, banned member I'm trying to think of this better name because we need to keep track of who's being banned and who's issuing the band 
Okay, so for band member, uh, we'll just leave it like that. Okay, and this is just going to be the ID of the band member. I guess I, I guess I could leave this as band member ID. And then for the person that is issuing the band, the call name will be issued by. Okay. All right, cool. Um, and then we'll add another column. And we're not going to have to pass in the property because this is just going to be one word. We're not going to need any snake case or not snake case, uh, camel case. It's just going to be reason. And this is going to be nullable or a string type. So if the user did not, so if the uh, the moderator or the administrator or basically the person that, that is issuing the band did not provide a reason, uh, then this will this this field will be blank. Okay, um, we'll also need the uh, the date. Uh, so I think for the property name, I'll call this uh, issued date. I could also call it something like created date or uh, issued on. I think I'll call it issued on instead. And this obviously uh, cannot be null because we need to know when the user was in fact banned. And the reason why we need to know when they were banned is because, well, it's going to make it easier. For, it's it's going to allow us to actually create create a chart uh, daily, weekly, or monthly uh, for our dashboard, okay? So I think this is all we will need for now. I don't think there's really anything else that we will need. If there's anything else that you think you'll need for your own guild or for your own bot, you can go and add that yourself. I think this is what we'll worry about right now. All right, so now we can go into, uh, let's see. Uh, we can go to we can go into index.ts and we can go ahead and add guild ban into the entities array like this and it seems like actually you know what i didn't realize that guild ban was also a class a class type like or a class that came from discord js library as well so i'm actually going to change to um i think i'll uh, i think i'm going to change this name to something else guild I think I'll call this a uh, guild band. I I guess I'll call this guild band log instead. You can call it whatever you want, but I just don't want to conflict with the actual Discord JS uh, type. I mean, I don't really think we'll ever use guild band to be honest. I think we might actually. So, yeah, I'll just change it to that. Just so that there's no conflicts or no confusion all right cool so now that we have added that so this should of course create a new table um i do have my bot running so i'm going to go into my sql my uh, my database right now let me just open that up okay so let me just and let me just show you all the tables you can see that guild bands is right over there and let me go ahead and just describe guild bands and you'll see that our table was created awesome so it works all right so what is next after we created the entity what we need to do is we need to actually start populating this database table and when do we actually create new instances of this entity well whenever we issue a ban Okay, so what I'm going to do in the next episode is I'm going to show you how we can set up, uh, set this up. So whenever we ban a user, uh, it will create a it will create a guild ban log in the database. So I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace out.